Labonte is an American rock musician. Uh, he's with the American group All That Remains and had just completed a gig there in Tokyo when uh, this earthquake started rocking things. Where are you right now and, and uh, how are you feeling and what is happening right now? Uh, right now I'm in my hotel room. It's uh, about 2.45 in the morning and uh, I guess my biggest concern uh, for the past 12 or so hours has been the, the reactor. When uh, the initial quake hit, the first major shock hit, we were actually sound checking and so we had to run out of the building and ran out into the street and uh, my first reaction, I'm from the East Coast so I haven't, I haven't had a lot of experience with earthquakes, but uh, you know, looking around and seeing people so nervous really kind of set me off. At first I was like, oh, well, Japan has a lot of earthquakes and they kind of know what to do and stuff. And, and I, I was a little bit calmer than maybe I should have been or I didn't realize how bad it really was. And then to see all the people in the streets uh, as scared as they were really started to set uh, me and the rest of the guys off. So you, are you awake at the middle of the night uh, because you're afraid to go to sleep because of these aftershocks uh, still feeling very frightening? Yeah, pretty much. Well, we, we just a couple hours ago, we had an aftershock uh, that came through. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what it was, but it, it set off an alarm in the uh, hotel, and so that kind of got me awake. And, and you know, uh, it's it's a little nerve-wracking, to be honest with you, you know, between, between the, like I said, the reactor and then... It, it, it kind of feels like there's a little bit of a, a motion almost all the time and I guess your head starts playing with you a little bit and you think you might feel something even if you know even if you're not really sure now in a lot of the uh, areas right there within uh, Tokyo and of course uh, even outside of that in the northeastern kind of suburbs there's been uh, a run on food and supplies and people have run out of uh, food how about uh, where you are uh, are you able to eat or you know, do you have enough sustenance? What's going on there? Yeah, it, it is noticeable. There's a convenience store right outside of our hotel, and uh, there's a lot of the shelves that are pretty bare. Um, I, you know, it, I've, I've been able to get enough, you know, food to eat and, and not really notice it, but at the same time, uh, you know, you walk in the a convenience store and you expect to see fully stocked shelves, and, you know, a lot of places are, it looks like they're out of water, and, and, and there's not a lot of, you know, stock on the shelf. So it's definitely something that's very noticeable. All right. Uh, Phil Labonte, thanks so much with the group All, All That Remains. How long do you plan to stay there? What, what are the chances of you returning back to the East Coast of the U.S.? Uh, well, we were, we're supposed to leave tomorrow uh, at around 5 o'clock Japan time. And uh, today we were a little nervous. The, the airport was closed, and we were told that it was going to be closed indefinitely. But this morning we had found out that flights started going, so we should be able to get out fine. So All right. it, uh, that, that made me feel pretty good. Ah, I'm sure it is. Now we see a smile on your face. Phil, thanks so much, and safe travels. Appreciate your time. Thank you. We'll have much more of our continuing coverage of the earthquake and tsunami.